Hey gang, welcome to this very special Unlocked oh, We Hate Movies wait, episode. What? That's right. So we went into the we went to the, to the Disney Vault and we got it out for one night only. Well, it's not the Disney <laughs> Vault yet. We hope to be acquired. Probably. <laughs> yeah, anything right. with the word movie in it is going to be acquired by them I, soon. I knocked over Disney's head. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> we are free agents, Disney. Come on, yes, please. We are we are we are very excited to be acquired. Anyway, but but no. What's what is happening here is we're previewing what we do on Patreon. This episode came out over a year ago, yeah. and we want to share it with the folks that are not on board yet. To show you, you get that same old, good old, we hate movies quality on Patreon every month. And yeah. now this is, of course, tying into the fact that we are heading out in just a few days. This is Saturday. So in two days, we're heading out on the road to kick off the East Cage tour in Boston. So here is a Nicolas Cage movie we are not doing on the tour, but we also did not release to the masses. Exactly. It's a nice. It, there's a nice little bit of synergy there. Yeah, and it, like Eric said, every month on the $5 level, you get... Uh, an extra episode. If you if you subscribe right now, you'll be like, oh, I already heard that freaking Ghost Rider one. That was for free. But you also get... <laughs> you get also everything. Get, everything. Yes, you'll get Bright. You'll get Man of Steel. You'll get Ghost Rider. You'll get Jungle to Jungle. Transcendence. America's Sweetheart. Jason Takes Manhattan. Ready Player One. Van Helsing. The Grinch. Star Wars A New Hope. Holy shit. That episode is three hours long, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and uh, so we is. love movies. Uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, Bad Boys, Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, and now Death Wish as well. So there's, uh, that's a ton of shit Not for just five that, bucks. You also, because um, you get everything below that level, too. So you get all the animation damnations, and there's probably like 20, some, 25, 30, least, who the hell yeah. knows? There's so much content. And uh, you also get the first 100 episodes unlocked, uh, which are locked for a reason, trust me. No, they're not. not really. They're fine. <laughs> but they're locked for a reason. Right. Uh, the, the full archive of our first 100 episodes of us just starting out and podcasting. And at the if you if you want to go up a little bit more, $8 level, you'll also unlock all of our nexuses, which are our Star Trek uh, podcast, which is uh, one episode of TNG and one episode of TOS done mostly in order, except for some, sometimes you go out of order. Out right. of but not only that, we've, we've done for the We Love Movies month we did in December, there was a two-hour-plus episode on Star Trek The Wrath of Khan. That's right. Mm-hmm. Treated kind of like we do every, every uh, episode of the show, but in a loving way. And you also get all these commentaries. We just, we did a, we've, um, we're almost through the entirety of the Twilight Saga. Yeah, it's like, been rough. When yeah. are those guys going to do the Twilight Saga? It's all in commentary form on the Patreon. That's right. So that's it. The East Cage Tour is kicking off this Monday. Boston, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, and New York City. WHMPodcast.com. Click on that tour tab for ticket info. We would love to see you all out there. And in the meantime, please enjoy Ghost Rider, colon, Spirit of Vengeance. This month on We Hate Movies special Patreon bonus episode, we are debasing ourselves by talking about a movie someone else asked us to do. It's Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance. I'm Andrew Jupin. Steven Sadak. Chris Cabin. Eric Siska. And we hate movies. We Hate Movies. Thank you for tuning in, as always. Thank you for subscribing to our Patreon, of course. This is an exclusive episode. There are, like, so many people out there who would be dying to be listening to this. That's true. Yeah, and, you know, if you know any of those folks, tell them to, you know, just wake up, man, and find five bucks. (laughs) That's That's all. Stop going to uh, the Pirate Bay. (laughs) Stop going to the Pirate Bay. Maybe try wiping your ass with leaves for a week. (laughs) Take that TP money. You know, it is nice to get back to nature. I've been trying that lately. Yeah. It is refreshing. Also, look, (laughs) if you kick junk, you'll be surprised how much money you have. I, That's I, true. I was. Yeah. I really yeah, was. You, exactly. I go outside and I see the garbage can and I kick it. You, there's <laughs> there's stuff in there I could sell to the thrift shop. Eric, he means heroin. Oh, that's in there, too. <laughs> uh, now, today, yes, we are talking about Ghost Rider, colon, Spirit of Vengeance from 2011, directed by Mike Neveldine and Brian Taylor. Uh, what uh, a uh, twosome. Uh, uh, what, what, what? What are you What are you fucking bitching about over there? That's not how they're credited. 
<laughs> oh, Neville Dean Slash Taylor. Yes. Yeah, that yes. is pretty hip. They are. Slash fiction. Director slash fiction. They're like station. Uh, this must is there station. Do they merge together? <laughs> they or, must. Or is it like a quado situation where it's like in his chest? Oh, that's what I prefer <laughs> picture. I think it's more like, uh, what's his name? Uh, rest in peace to the guy from Ghost who's the... Uh, Patrick Swayze. <laughs> Vincent no, the Chevelle? Vincent, Vincent Chevelle, Chevelle in the X-Files. His little brother who's in his stomach oh, and man, crawls the, out. The fucking creep show episode yeah. or the freak show i'll tell you what i had the novelization of that episode what? wow Ooh, nerdy was Can, it different no same exact thing yeah. it was like also approximately 75 pages long were they Would, all novelized <laughs> no no there was <laughs> every a, single episode <laughs> no it was a, it was like a select so okay. like the heavy hitters that had like permeated pop culture the one, beyond the anyone, one with the living viewership. elevator does anyone want to step into the the ribbon with with me and do the alternate version of uh slash fiction of directors which would be you know what would that look like? Were you writing slash fiction of like Coppola and Lucas hooking up? Oh, that would be pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've never done this before. <laughs> hey, Francis, I've never done this before. <laughs> Welcome to my winery. Ah, ah, ah. And Martin Scorsese is just watching. What a Francis Ford Coppola could do to George Lucas's ass. <laughs> that that you should see. That you should see. Scorsese de Palma. That might, that the, yeah. that would be pretty intense. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that it, it's a blowout. <laughs> oh, so well much lipstick, John. <laughs> uh, so this is the sequel to the 2007 film Ghost Rider, mm-hmm. which I think three out of the four of us rewatched in advance of talking about this one. Also, well, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Well, you are wearing a Ghost Rider yes. T-shirt. So that it does it does make up for it, Steve. That's good. You know what? You look at that T-shirt, you get the first movie. It's well, pretty much the same. That's the thing yeah. about Ghost Rider in general. Ghost Rider is a print medium. Period. Yes. Yeah. Don't ever need to see three hundred and sixty degrees of Ghost Rider. I can two yeah. D is plenty. I can maybe 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 see like a Spawn esque animated series for like adult ish. Sure. What? Maybe, like, no, maybe. No, ban that. <laughs> ban ban, ban <laughs> Spawn. You know what you know what I've I I heard though, like on the Tribune or whatnot, and I haven't watched this show in years, so I can't imagine the, how it's worked in. The guy but, from Agents of Shield. Yeah, he's Ghost he's Rider. Good. But what are we doing? Yeah. Why is that right. there? You he's don't want to know. He's Ghost Rider in what? Agents of Shield? No, there's a guy now playing Ghost Rider on Agents of Shield. Well, that is insane. I haven't watched that show since it's, the first season, so I don't ca- know what's going on. It's a catch. You know, like when, when, when it's a catch all. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you can, you go to Kevin Feige and you're like, look. Who are you not using in the next 20 years that I can have on right. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? It's like, all right, here's some Inhumans for you. I got oh, let me look, <laughs> Let me look at the garbage well, here for you. What do I got? I got Ghost Rider. You want Ghost Rider? That's not look. even the limit of it. They, I, There's a connection, I think, this season to Guardians of the Galaxy. Wait, what? No, is that right? I'm pretty sure. Well, they were fucking around with like a Tesseract or something in the first yeah. season of that show. What is that? That's the thing the big that power uh, kills Red Skull. Oh, cool. Yeah, I listen, believe that's floating. Listen, around. let me let me ask you. Do you want to do US agent? That's like <laughs> Captain America almost exactly, but he's called US agent. Dude, wow. is that a real thing? That is a real oh, thing. Oh, that is some creative bankruptcy. <laughs> I mean, give me Sergeant Rock. <laughs> Lose some dust off some boxes. I found your plastic man right here. You can do whatever you like with him. You know, and the fucking boner jam about the whole thing is like from what I've seen of especially like older collections of Ghost Rider yeah. comics. Like it seems pretty cool, as it's Steve f- said, like as a comic book. Yeah. But in this particular instance, boy, should something not be adapted for the big screen. It just it doesn't make any It's not fun for anybody. Like, And if you're going to do it, it should be more on the horror tip. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, cl- closer to like a, a horror or, or like an evil dead. Like if Sam Raimi in 1982 made Ghost Rider. I would Sam cool. Raimi now could make a Ghost Actually, Rider a movie. I'd watch yeah, it. That'd be great. You know, Dark Man meets Evil Dad. Sure. Has he directed a movie since Drag Me to Hell? Yes. Did Has he? he? That yes. wizard, that like wizard. Oh Oz fuck! Fucking, you're right. Yeah. Oh, dear Oz the God. Great, powerful. Yeah, the fart tornado. Or whatever <laughs> Is it Oz fart the tor- Great and something? The Oz the Great and powerful. Yes. I just said it. Clean He's the shit out of I, your ears. I don't listen to you. He's done more since, though, right? But I mean, he does uh, Ash vs. Evil. De- He's like big on that show still. This, I think. this sequel was supposed to be this, like, and this happens a lot with like sequels of failed first ones where they're like, <laughs> the second one, it's going to be rated R and look the fuck out. And then, like, <laughs> hey, that's a bad idea. Anyway, just to put action, like, 
this isn't an action franchise. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't need to be action oriented. No, I don't no. need action scenes. And that's like, I in rewatching both of these, and I rewatch them out of order too. Ooh, mm-hmm. smart. That's <laughs> that second movie. We'll talk about it, but like, it's got that ridiculous set piece where he takes over that fucking bit of construction equipment yeah, yeah. and all that shit's got and you're like yeah, what, what is going on it's like he touches something and he can make it yeah he can turn stuff. any kind of machine to do like do his bidding oh yeah. like, i guess like the motorcycle yeah it's yeah. the same thing uh, yeah or like in that first movie where sam elliott touches a horse <laughs> well that's that's my question i mean that, and that's canon that that is something that goes he's, yeah, he's that the, he was the first dude but like how so what, horses are machines i guess or like, that's it, the way it, i've always seen it, them, it, Steve. yes yes because in cars it's horse power ah, it's a I bunch see. of little horses do we don't get ghost rider in a boat that's what i want to see oh, boat oh rider. man boat rider, boat rider. <laughs> dude boat rider you bet your ass i'd watch that dude that's like homer watching night boat exactly i would watch i would watch the s- fuck out of boat speed rider. boating across the river sticks well you know there are the oceans are full of sinners yep lakes uh-huh. too mm-hmm. rivers yeah no good nicks on those all right he could be right next to colin farrell in miami vice i kind of like this yes. yep oh totally dude Going to get uh, John Ortiz and can put him away yeah, forever. He goes to like that that drug smuggling Nazi island or whatever happens in that <laughs> fucking movie. <laughs> you mean Cuba? <laughs> Wait, is, I haven't seen it since like the theater, but there are Nazis in that movie, right? Or Neo, uh, Neo- no, there are. The, the, yes. Oh, I thought you were Back thinking about the, the beginning of uh, Bad Boys Two when they break up uh, that clan. No, movie. not Michael Shannon Nazi. Oh, okay. <laughs> Michael Shannon's one of the fucking hillbillies yeah. in that movie. Oh, yeah. oh, really? He's the main one, baby. Oh, wow. Oh, man. All right. So, fa- so Ghost Rider, Johnny Blaze, mm-hmm. starts reading a book. Uh oh, it's the never ending story. He gets oh, on Falcor. Shit. Now we've got Ghost Rider Falcor. Nice. Oh, yeah. shit. I would like to see that. Mm-hmm. That'd be pretty cool. Wait. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> this hurts. <laughs> I'm burning alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Falcor. We gotta go steal the soul of Atreyu. <laughs> or whatever happens in that movie. Uh, so yes, this is the second yep. and for now final cinematic outing of Johnny Blaze in a motion picture. I do want to finish the, that thought though. It's not this was not rated R because like Sony oh, yeah. pulled, Sony pulled the plug. It was like, oh wow, it's gonna be so dark and crazy and over I'm the top action. It's and then not they pulled rated R. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty it's out pretty there. yeah. I mean, you got people decaying in front of me yeah but it's just like computer decay though man like that's well, and that's the computer blood they're not roasting people alive no <laughs> but it's also no, but it's not graphic in any yeah way. it's, it's cartoonish is it's what still I mean. but it's the same it's the and this is part of why i hate the first one it's the exact same thing like the freezing black heart freezing yeah. them yes yeah it looks exactly the same as them decaying so yeah. you change nothing about these movies essentially how they function yeah except like one you know, in the first one, he's doing the devil's bidding. The devil, Peter Fonda, by the way, <laughs> uh, trying to get him to assassinate his son, played by Wes Bentley. Remember him? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then this movie, it's like he's just running away from these Romanians the whole time. <laughs> You're and also this is, trying to assassinate Mephisto's son. Right. And the, oh, oh, right. The little kid <laughs> yeah. is going to have or he's already born as the devil's son or they're yeah. going to put the devil's no, he's, son he's, inside. He's, he is the devil's son through and through. But he's okay. going to be the vessel for the devil and the, eventually. And the devil in this movie, it's not Peter Fonda, but it's Siren Hines. Or yeah, however you say this I, man's I, name. I apologies a, apologies listen, to the great nation of Ireland. For sure, but it's pronounced Mance Radar. Yes. <laughs> or Eric's Mance Radar. Someone corrected me. I said it on the on the drawing for this when we pulled it out of the hat. Mance uh-huh. Raider. What are you referencing here? It's a Game of, Game Thrones, of Thrones character. Oh, God. And, I, of course, I should have known. And uh, someone was like, you're saying it wrong. <laughs> you're saying it wrong? You're yeah. saying it wrong? Do they say his name on the show? Mance Raider? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was a thing where it's like, I, you're saying it from the book wrong. I just don't remember if it's Raider or Radar. It's all fine. I saw him on stage once uh, really? do, doing uh, The Crucible there. Oh um, shit! Which he, part did he play? He was like the bad guy. Oh, nice. <laughs> not the not the. No, uh, it was Ben Wishow was the uh, proctor there, and uh, uh, Shorsha Ronan was in it as well. Sersha, Sersha. See a lot of difficult names, but the best part of that whole play was to beginning of the second act. A wolf is on stage for no reason, and it's awesome. <laughs> a real wolf, real, real wolf. Yeah, chained up. Okay, yeah. now who played that? <laughs> that was Brendan Gleeson. No, <laughs> it was like so. You, the, you know, the curtain comes up for the second act, and like. 
there's just a wolf like walking wow, on stage, chained hell? up though. No, not chained. What? The way, the, what they did, I, and by the way, it probably wasn't necessarily a wolf. It was probably like a half wolf, half, half husky. But this is a big motherfucking like, wolf. Good, dog. You know what, dude? Good enough for me. Yeah. Good enough for public. No, no, no. Either no, way, was... it sounds like a hair raising performance. But yeah. the uh, the Jesus the best part Christ. about it is you see. <laughs> You see, uh, if you have bad seats like I did, like the, the, you can see behind stage a little bit. You see the little trader with a little laser pointer. It's like, come on, come on, come on, oh, come on. Oh, come on. Nice. Don't no, that was a people. shock ray, dude. <laughs> yeah, oh, it wasn't a laser pointer. That dog was getting fucking jolted in the nuts. Take the shot. Take the shot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, Ben. No. <laughs> it's the eighth wolf this week. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, by the way, Romania, man, what, <laughs> yeah. what, a, what, a, what a happy marriage that is. The mm. cheapest place to film a movie and the setting of the well, movie. Who would have guessed? just where Nick Cage was, I yes. think. Him well, and Christopher Lambert, those were the two places. It's uh, whatever We're fucking... Uh, exiles. <laughs> it's whatever fucking castle he was foreclosing yeah. on that week is where they had to film this movie. I was going to say, because they're not... They haven't quite gone Seagal where they're like only getting things like in, you know, nation states. <laughs> Steven Seagal, may we remind you again, gentle listener, enemy of the state. <laughs> Still making movies. He just, sure. he just posted a trailer for a new one. Uh, Before yeah, we go get ahead. too far away from this, at uh, sure. the start of the film, we get a card that says Marvel Knights. Yes. And I was like, is this something they were trying to do? What I is think this? It, was, this oh, it, could, it was what, Punisher? Punisher was War Zone. War Zone. Yeah. Yes, and that's it. Okay, was there were they supposed to be connected in any way? No, I mean I think that was there. The, the Marvel Knights was a comic line that had characters like Ghost Rider and Punisher and Daredevil, like the in darker, the medieval ages. No, just a darker, edgier kind of like. It was just line. like a tag that you could like put on vertigo. it. You knew, like if you were, yes. yeah, yeah. Okay. You knew if you had a Marvel Knights comic, it was going to be a little oh, on the edgier. Man, so like, I think that that's what they were trying to do with this line. That's why Punisher Warzone was rated R, I believe. It had to be. Oh my god, yes, definitely. definitely. That definitely fucking was. old woman getting her head turned around, that's a rated R and a half. And then this, we're sort of kind of, even though I, I, I don't know what studio put out Warzone, but... I uh, think it was Lionsgate? Yes. That sounds about right. This yes. is Sony. Yeah. This well, is, we're doing a Columbia Pictures. So it's something like Paramount Vantage. Remember that? Paramount Vantage, yeah. that was their like art line. That yeah. was like the Fox Searchlight. And there will, I think there'll there, be blood, there will be blood came yes. from there, and that's uh, where I remember Kieran Hines, uh, Siren Hines from the most. Oh, oh and, yeah. and there will be He's blood. Great. Yeah. That's right. Uh, so, yeah, but it's it's so funny, though, because you look, you take one look at this movie and you're <laughs> like, this is a classic case of we had no fucking money for anything. Nope. So we have to shoot in Romania. We're changing the look of like the effects of like his Ghost Rider power. Oh, yep. man. This is really pathetic. That first movie, he's stealing souls. You're going like inside the body. You're watching the soul like harden up to like dirt and all this shit and it's pretty cool mm -hmm. this movie it's like the skeleton is just like jaw like its mouth is open he's like Aah! he's like an angry muppet it, it looks terrible. They blew the whole budget on fucking cameras that can be put on my motorcycles for chases. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. We need all those club, man. We need all those GoPros. I will say the skull looks better in this movie than the first. Oh, it's movie. A little burnt out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The first movie it looked like um, you know, cartoon. It's it an looked... action figure. But yeah, yeah, yeah um, totally. The first movie also he's definitely talking a blue streak through the whole thing. Yeah. And this movie we're like dialing that back, and he's like sort of like monosyllabic. Again, though, this is just a budgetary thing because you have to animate that mouth otherwise. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. saving some bucks there, also, too. <laughs> I, I would wager that Nick Cage didn't film a lot on this movie. No. He filmed no. The, sh the scenes where he's Nick Cage. Yeah. And some stunt guy was Ghost Rider totally. for like 80% of this movie. I just realized, by the way, we're like 15-ish minutes into this convo. We should stop and thank the fucking dastardly individual. Oh, that, of course. Uh, requested this because this is, of course, a the March... Uh, Patreon exclusive episode, but we're still wrapped up in listener request month. Yes. So, Chris Cabin, this comes from who now? It's from James. And where was James from? Do you recall? He didn't put it in. Oh, he didn't put it in? Oh, Fair wow. enough. Address James. with hell. Okay, now, uh, James is in witness protection. Read his email and IP address. <laughs> He gave his last name. I don't like giving out people's last names unless no they're specifically. Way. We're not giving out your no. last name. No. No, that's not going to happen. I don't, you don't want to get doxxed because of We Hate Movies. We don't even right? give out our own last names. No, they, those they're, are they're all fake. Those These are, are all character names. Yeah, exactly. that's totally. Definitely. There's a Sipowitz in the bunch. Those, <laughs> those are, are real life Sipowitz. Mafia exiles. <laughs>
So the beginning of this movie, which I love, is or, no. What, the beginning of this movie, I, I, rem- I saw this in theaters. I think everybody saw this in theaters. Probably oh, separate. in oh, theaters. Wait. Eric and I saw it in theaters together in 3D. Oh, you got to. Yeah, I had to watch that flame piss in 3D. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> but I remember when when this movie starts, I'm like, yeah, I saw this movie. It was only five years ago. I remember, yeah, Kieran Hines is the devil. I kind of remember there's a temple at the end. God, that's it. The movie starts and fucking there's a motorcycle. I'm like, oh, it's Nick Cage. He takes the, the helmet off. It's Idris Elba. I'm like, holy shit. Idris Elba's in this movie? <laughs> totally. I, totally. It, it, I was shocked. Too. I would have been less surprised if it was fucking Chris Farley, man. Like, I'd, be like, <laughs> I'd be like, oh, wow. Chris Farley was in Ghost Rider Spirit Event. Didn't he die in 90? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. It's 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 That's weird. That's a bar bet you will lose. Living in a mo- on a motorcycle <laughs> down by the river. Uh, yeah. No, this, this came out the same year as that first Thor that he's also in. Oh, we, it's weird. So this yeah. is a fucking trade right up. He is playing a, a priest named Maurice, or what is this? Moreau. 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 And he has the same contacts as he does in Thor. <laughs> he looks my, exactly the same. My yeah. wife pointed that out, too. She was like, uh, same contacts there, huh? Take off the stupid no, golden hat or whatever on, he's wearing. Uh, wait, wait. Is this the same character? Is he, like, <laughs> jumping that... Whenever Thor goes out on his fucking oh, that pick br- up lunch or whatever. <laughs> Mario's <laughs> Rainbow Bridge? Yeah. Is he like fucking jumping down there and becoming. Uh, I seriously doubt it. He has like an alias and no. he, he lives. A, he's got like kids down there that he doesn't <laughs> tell his wife up. <laughs> yeah, he has to commute to work. I was, <laughs> I was watching the beginning and I was like, why isn't Idris Elba ghost? Like, I, yeah. why is he always playing the second fiddle in these fucking Bro, Marvel you movies? can't have a fucking black guy <laughs> playing fucking Johnny hey, Blaze, hey, buddy, right? Hey, buddy, uh, everyone's skull is white. <laughs> <laughs> and if you do, you, it has to be Method Man who plays him. Oh, why? Because like that. that's his nickname in the Wu-Tang. All the Wu-Tang, like a lot of the Wu-Tang Clan guys have uh-huh. the names of Marvel uh, characters okay. as their, like, aliases. Yeah, really? okay. So Method Man is Johnny Blaze. Oh, who was ODB? Uh, I don't know who ODB. Ghostface is Tony Stark. That's uh, right. Oh, that uh, that's starting to kind of. I also a bell. feel okay. like Method Man. You're just saying that because you like marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of true. course it is. But yeah, Ghostface also seems like a fan. <laughs> yeah. And Tony I mean, Stark doesn't. I yeah. I mean, <laughs> Tony just, Spark. And this guy. There you go. This guy's just saying uh, Tony Stark because he likes the military industrial complex. <laughs> yeah, he's a big fan. As, as Ghostface as Killer heard. loves the military <laughs> industrial complex. <laughs> Guaranteed. Yeah, I mean, like, so, but like, I feel like Idris Elba should be a superhero, and he's not. He's wasted in that. In all three of those Thor movies, he's wasted in this movie. Like, you could get him as any, literally any superhero. Like, he could any superhero. And it's starting to piss me off now because, like, the talk of like the post Craig Bond is now moving on to Daniel Kaluuya. Yeah, Mm -hmm. Uh, Kaluuya. Rather, I keep saying Kaluuya like that fucking coffee liqueur. (laughs) Uh, Kaluuya, I believe. But like. Fuck you, man. I don't care if he's getting older. I will still take an Idris yes. Bond. I mm-hmm. do not care. And I do not care to hear your argument how Bond is a white character and yeah. I'm not making any sense. Do not at me about that. I don't give a fuck. And I also want to just mention I do not care for Idris Alba's accent in this oh. fucking movie. And what is that <laughs> what is that we're trying to pull off it's exactly? French, French. But it sounds like it belongs in top secret with Val Kilmer. <laughs> It He's is just doing that accent next to a flying cow. <laughs> yeah, there's like a giant pigeon, and yeah. Oh, oh, oh the devil is a coming, oh, mon ami. Oh, who is this? Anthony Stewart Ed from Buffy. Oh, oh. Yeah, he's in this movie for like for a seconds. hot second. I was like, hey, look at that. And I think it was a thing where like I didn't remember him being in the movie because yeah. like Eric and I had like you know. A tall glass of water or two before we went into the theater. Possibly we were, someone with us in the theater. You know, out of our minds. Ghost, <laughs> out of our minds. You know, watch Ghost Rider sober. No, but oh. I just remembered thinking, like, wow, I didn't even notice Giles was in this movie. And I was like, well, that checks out. Yeah, it's about He dies immediately. Like, Almost he, immediately. They set up that, like, you know, that uh, the devil's coming the for the order. Uh. The order. The, 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 there's this. They're coming after this kid. We're putting the order together. What do you want? Pizza <laughs> or Chinese? <laughs> We're not doing the chicken place. That takes forever. <laughs> no, I'm not going to two places. We're going to decide on a cuisine before I fucking open Seamless. No, I'm not using Grubhub. Hamburgers travel poorly. Everybody knows That's that. I'm not true. ordering a hamburger. It's not like we're all going to get smoothies, so no. <laughs> all right, let's just go out. <laughs> yes, uh, the order. A bunch this- of priests protecting this baby. 
the winter solstice is coming and that's when the big thing is going to happen. Uh, uh, there's a big attack and then you think Idris Elba dies and it's like whatever. And who cares? It doesn't even matter because he's back. There's like a there's like a is this road chase before or after he goes to the the compound? Because there's the ridiculous like he's on I believe a motorcycle. He is still. on a motorcycle. Yeah, he's chasing people. He flies off a cliff like yes. in slow motion, mm-hmm. and it is some heinous CGI. It's really bad. And then they show like, oh, how do you get out of that one? He's stuck in a tree, and it's like, oh, literally, right. it looks like a highlights for kids magazine. Yeah, it was kind of the funny. fucking tree, <laughs> and there's like in, in, a cartoon of Idris Elba in it. It, it was looks... kind of funny. And also, that's when I started to think top secret. I think. <laughs> yeah. I was like, that's the tone. Well, because it's so quick, you don't know what it... At first, I was like, what was that? Yeah. So that's still from Fern Gully that got in here? <laughs> so Idris Elba, we do get the Ghost Rider opening credits or whatever, and Johnny Blaze is telling you everything that happened in the first Ugh. movie. Kind of, sort of. Is we this get... where he says, um, it doesn't matter how far you run. There are just some demons you can outrun. That's oh. right. Oh, did you? Uh, is this where he does the rundown of uh, sins? It doesn't matter if you killed the person yes. or did an illegal download. Oh, oh yep. Oh. Da, 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 da. You, you wouldn't steal a car, would you? <laughs> DVD. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, so is that what he's doing? Like, I think it's yeah. kind he's of burning that. people alive mm, that's for why intellectual <laughs> property theft. That's why he's in Eastern Europe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's where they all are. Yeah. That is a Ghost Rider thing, though, is that the rider does not, uh, he doesn't have levels. It's yeah. like, if you've done something bad, it doesn't matter. If it, like, lead a genocide yeah. or fucking use the Pirate Bay, uh, man, yeah. you are getting burned you, alive. Oh, did, no. you, did you buy that book secondhand? That means none of the money is going to the publisher. <laughs> Burn it up. <laughs> we should have known this from the beginning. Mephisto and uh, Kerrigan clearly run the Pirate Bay, and this uh, is this is all a, a, a whole hit. Oh, um, no. My son, Yilvani. Yilvani Ghost Rider here. He's going to <laughs> kill you now because he steals the movies i tell him no steal the movies look at all these stolen movies on his computer <laughs> we do not get the oscar movies we have to get the screeners from online he wake up every morning going two more days till screener season two more days till screener season and i'm like you Vanna, you will burn in the hell for what you do what you do your poor mother Okay, Ghost Rider, kill my child. <laughs> Cost too much anyway. Take him out of house, though. I want to have, I don't want the sulfur smell. Yes, come into my house, Ghost Rider. My hacker son did rig U.S. election. <laughs> come right in. It's just so... It's a dumb rule, do Ghost Rider. You, do you want rule. to know the other hackers in building? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the weird thing is, so Cage is doing... Is it in the first one, too? He's doing this, like... Weird southern drawl. Yeah. Well, because the first movie fucking appropriately takes place in, like, the American Southwest. A lot of it's in Texas. Yep. Sure. Like, this is where this movie should be. He should either be rotting around the American desert or... Or he should be like maybe fucking farting around in like L.A. like make this look like a gritty ass L.A. movie that would be kind of cool. Not fucking Romania, man. And it's the whole thing of he's kind of he's kind of like a Bruce Banner. Yeah, like he's on mm-hmm. the run because yes. he's trying to avoid every everybody so he doesn't bring the rider out and murder someone for internet piracy. Oh no! Oh, come for my son Gregory, who makes pornography game that make you come in four seconds. <laughs> it's, oh, it's called Nutbusters. It's in the App Store. Is that true? <laughs> wait, Strider. wait a second. Wait, I'm gonna change back to a human. <laughs> Show me this game. And do you have a stopwatch? <laughs> I'm telling you, Ghost Rider, it's going to be very difficult for you not to come when you play this okay, game. Okay, I'm gonna try to come in four seconds, <laughs> and if I do. Don't I swallow your son's soul? <laughs> no, no, no. You stay in the room. You watch. You watch me come. You watch what your son made. Is fair deal, Ghost Rider. Is fair deal. Wait, I'm just. I'm trying to click the mouse. It's not. No, wait, what? How do you are get these, their tops off? Are they? Are these in-app purchases? This app is terrible. <laughs> it's been four minutes and no one's come. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> Your but kid yeah, is dead. It's Romania. It's not Texas, which makes no fucking sense. No. Uh, he goes, yeah, he's doing the Bruce Banner bit. It is It is very Bruce Banner because apparently, like, yeah. he, 
when the lights are out and he's around anyone that's evil, even or remotely kind of bad, he will steal their soul. So he's like kind of drinking heavily, living in, living in a weird what? burned out shed. It's heavy on voiceover, <laughs> I think, because he has a voiceover studio in one of his castles. Absolutely. Oh, I yeah, see. It's like, I will, it fucking, home. I will email you an ultra high res <laughs> ape of this whole monologue. You can split it up however you choose. I'll do like, let's say six takes. You'll be fine. From my make, thai- your, make your Ghost Rider movie. From my Thailand bungalow. <laughs> but that's the weird thing is like Cage is like a noted comic book fan. That's a weird like that's what where he, Cage I, comes Ghost from. Rider fan, right? Yes. I, I think, think he, he says so. He has a Ghost Rider tattoo. Yeah. I think that's the level of fandom but we're doesn't talking. he just get one of those for every movie he does? <laughs> oh, man, that's a lot of tattoos. <laughs> that is a lot of tattoos. It's a lot of tattoos of him as a father who's lost a child. It's just the <laughs> face, his face from each one. You know, I got to say, I, re- I really appreciate Nick Cage in this franchise for one reason, and that's I miss the era. And this was the end of the era. Where you could, the superheroes were 50 years old. Yes. <laughs> yes. I miss yeah. having yeah. a 50 year old superhero. I kind yeah. of, everyone's a baby now. Everyone's a very young baby. That's what's great about RDJ. Yeah. And I'm sure by the end of that fourth Avengers movie, he's going to be laying down in a pool of blood dead. <laughs> but it's very refreshing just to see this old fucker. Not old, but you older. Know, not a little young. kid. He's pretty old. Not a little kid model. I mean, like, Bozeman's older. I mean, they're all, nobody's that, that young, but I mean, like, two Not hours. anymore. It's uh, been fucking 12 years. Spider Man, well, maybe. That, that, he, I mean, he's a legit baby. Yeah. Which what? is great. That was great casting on their part for nope. that movie. Bring back the 35 year olds. <laughs> no, I don't want Tobey Maguire doing anything ever again. Well, sorry. Michael, Michael Shan's next Spider Man. That's <laughs> oh, it. Man. Oh, yes. I got bit by a radioactive spider about 38 years ago. <laughs> spider Man, Spider Man, do whatever a spider can. MJ's divorced again. <laughs> Is it middle-aged Spider-Man? I'd fucking love that. Yeah, I don't go out much anymore. I'm living in this basement. Like, I never May's really had basement. a lot of I didn't have a lot of money. Even being an, as Spider-Man, I was kind of the gimmick. You know? I didn't need MJ. I just made a I made another MJ out of this webbing. <laughs> I've been fucking this fuck doll that's made out of webs. Ever since the bugle opened up that subscription service, I you know, the the, the readership <laughs> is way down. Everyone's got a camera on their phone. What do they need me anymore? Who, who's that? Who's that? The lizard's loose? <laughs> I don't got time for that anymore. I can't do that. No. <laughs> Fuck. Then, like, the villains would be even older, dude. That'd be crazy. I went to Vulture's funeral yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> the Vulture played by Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> I love this idea. I think it's, it's, That'd be pretty great. It's an A plus movie. Uh, what's not an A plus movie, more of an F plus movie. <laughs> Ghost Rider's Spirit of Vengeance, by yeah, the way. He's doing this southern thing. Uh, Idris Elba comes up to him. He's like, look, the devil's son. Or just this kid is on the loose. You have to go find him. I know you're Ghost Rider. I'll make you a deal. If you find this kid, I will get the curse lifted off of you. And he's like, what? Yeah. What? Like, wait, what? Like, seriously, <laughs> though. Like, how dare you? Just... <laughs> He's been toiling as the writer for like seven odd years or whatever. Mm-hmm. And you're just like some fucking French priest, this like pseudo French priest who's like, by the way, that thing you've been like cursed with forever. I can lift that in two seconds. Where yeah. have you been, buddy? How do you know also, who the ghost writer is? What are you? I hate this because in the first movie, the devil offers him to get the curse lift. And right. He said no. Yeah. He so says what like is this. What is this shit? It makes no sense because in the first movie, Eric's right. He's like, no, no, no. Leave me as Ghost Rider. I'm going to keep this curse and use it to fuck you over, the devil. And, and then Peter taking... Fonda goes, harumph. And now he's just trying to take the easy out. They also retcon a little bit, slightly, of in the first movie. It's, it's, it's not like he's approaching the devil and like, yes. I will sell my soul to get my daddy healthy. It's more of like he got tricked by the devil. Yes, he did get tricked. And in this, in the opening, you know, little montage previously on Ghost Rider, (laughs) it's just like, I sold my soul on purpose. (laughs) Yeah. And it's like the Sin City nonsense, the black and white. Uh, 
I was throwing up. It <laughs> looks terrible. I'll tell you, everything about this movie looks awful. I'll tell you, I'll, I would sell my soul in a fucking heartbeat. Thank God the devil doesn't exist, or I would have sold my soul oh, years, yeah. ago. years For, ago. And I would have been it's like got the nothing Homer. worth buying. Exactly. I would have been like the Homer Simpson man. It would have been for some petty shit. I'd be like, your head's a donut. Yeah. I'd be, oh, I'd be sitting around and be like, God, I would fucking sell my soul for a bag of jerky right now. Hello. <laughs> I'll tell you, if, if I had the devil's help, I wouldn't be on this show. That's for sure. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, you, you're so right. I wish we were cursed. <laughs> like everyone that's successful. By the way, the part I hate about this movie the most is yes. there's this montage of like, the devils came in many forms oh, throughout oh, the ages. Oh, my yes. fucking God. You know, he was he was this guy, that guy, <laughs> Stalin, uh-huh. Jerry Springer. Oh, oh dude. Christ. Dude, a fucking 2011 Jerry Springer joke. Are you kidding? That is insane. <laughs> Nobody knew. Like, my wife. Did not know who it was. Oh, really? Just genuinely did not know who it was. Who's that older gentleman? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, and it makes no sense. In so the Jerry real- Springer died in this canon, I think. I guess so, right. but it also doesn't make sense in the in the world of the movie, wherein like Kieran Hines has been Jerry has been the devil for the whole movie for the whole for Johnny Blaze's whole life because they show him as it. So like when was he Jerry Springer? And when in was the he middle Peter of- Fonda? When was he Peter Fonda? Yeah. <laughs> they also flashed just a fat clown because they couldn't do like a uh, John Wayne Gacy. Oh, they- you couldn't afford the Gacy estate, dude. Listen, here's the thing: if you cannot afford to license a file photo of fucking John Wayne Gacy, don't make a movie. Just don't make the you movie. You know what? No, Nick Cage was like, no, don't use, don't use John. I, I love John's family. <laughs> <laughs> They're big fans. Dude. They love raising Arizona. I bought his costumes <laughs> at auction. <laughs> Oh, Somebody's no, got those. I'm broke. I got all these paintings in my house. <laughs> got or the too bad it's skeleton. not. No portraits of Dorian Gray in there. <laughs> or his uh, a pyramid grave, which does exist in New Orleans. Oh, Everybody should know. Oh, yes, yes. It's amazing. Who's pyramid grave? Nicholas Nick Cage. Cage. Get at. He's prepared for the afterlife. He's pre- he, he has this huge pyramid in this ancient like mausoleum, graveyard. Yeah. It's insane. Oh, You've shit. You've got to see. It's just the most insane thing. Wow. Yeah, man. I, I'm excited. Not bad. Yeah. I'll, just, I'll be honest with you, not bad. And you say he's been having money troubles. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. But, so the weird thing is, so the Ghost Rider, um, it doesn't necessarily explain. Like, you know, he turns into Ghost Rider. Where did, what happens to the piece? Does the piece grow back, I guess? Or is that like bonded to his soul as well? Uh, that's part of the curse, I think. Oh, that's, <laughs> that was part of his deal with the devil. Because that's what I would do. My deal with the devil, I wouldn't make a quick one. I would have a lot of addendums to it. Right. And that's what, oh, if, if anything goes on with my hair, I need, I need a cool piece. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that the, the piece in the first one is so much worse. Oh, is it really? Because like it's just like floppy strands up front. Yeah. It's well. Here's the thing. It's like it's unnaturally dark. Yeah. Really also, he's, they give him black hair. It's a piece for a movie character. Yeah. What he's doing in this movie is now what we call like the contemporary cage. Yes. Which it's just like as much of the five head as you can get away with before it's like terrible. Uh huh. But then it's just kind of like. If there was enough hair, it would look like it was parted down the middle, but there's not, so it's just kind of like pushed back and in two waves. This is my hair. I, I'll mess his hair up if I want to mess his hair up. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful, though. I mean, it. and why would you not bring that wig back? Why does he have to look worse? <laughs> oh, I don't know wig. if it's worse. That's. I mean, I, it is really, honestly, for me, it is the perfect symbol of the differences between the movies. Mm-hmm. Like this one, you're like, you're fucking bald, man. It's a piece <laughs> of shit. Just do it. The first one, they're pretending like he has hair. And yeah. It's just the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. I mean, it's also Romania. You can get that on the cheap. <laughs> That's actually true. So he he get he sets out to to find this woman. Uh, we get to meet this woman in uh you know in a restaurant. It's uh what's her name in this movie? I forget. Uh Tanya, maybe? Sure. Um, <laughs> Nadia, excuse Nadia. Me, it's Nadia. It's great. There's this American businessman who comes up. It's my oh, favorite yep. of the whole movie. Who's just like, "Hi there." Uh, he takes his wedding ring off. He's like, "Are you a prostitute by any chance?" No, I don't mean to be rude. No, dude. It's even worse because he's like, "Hey, are you a one of them?" You know, gypsies. <laughs> oh, yeah. And she's like, yeah, why? And he basically is like, because I've heard gypsies fuck good. Yeah. I'm like, and how much you want? Like, basically. Yeah. Like, yeah. Fucker. 
<laughs> fuck. Yeah, you know, the fuck curse. Now you fuck good. This is why you need to go to the American sex tourism websites before you go on a sex tourism cruise. Yeah. Because then you're in these awkward situations. You know what I mean? Like, Mm -hmm. you have to know the the hot spots to go to. Well, it's just like, you know, if you vacation to a foreign country and you don't speak the language, right? Like, you got to prepare in advance for what's going on. You got to know the lay of the land. You got to know where you're going. And you know what? Don't be an ugly American. Just, try to try to like make your way around some possible conversational this, this, uh, this is bits a, of their language. This is a perfect platform for me to launch my new. It's Yelp for sex trafficking and sex <laughs> tourism. Ooh. It's called FUP. Oh man, <laughs> FUP. you're gonna put my print business right out of business of horny planet. <laughs> horny planet. <laughs> Welcome back to Stephen Sadek's <laughs> Holy Planet. Well, you know, Here we see two leopards <laughs> that are about to engage in sexual intercourse. Yes, it's just two white people doing the missionary. That's again. <laughs> so what, what goes on in FUP? Is there, are there dollar signs as well? I mean, obviously, you're, there's a rating oh, system. Right, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. well, it's also like what kind of, like, is it somebody's house? Yeah. Reservations. Is it, uh, yeah, it's also oh, this. You, there's Dude, no drop-in. Say, Beverages, man. alcohol licenses, come except, on. Except you might, cards, you, you yes, might no. might do well in the United States. States, but I think globally, fuck advisor might give you a rose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he he. Uh, the kid like picks his pocket. The kid, by the way, is named Danny, and I'd be remiss because people would yell at me on the internet. He's apparently supposed to be Danny Ketch, who's the second Ghost Rider. Huh? Yeah, I know. Who cares? <sighs> what? There's a thing. Wait, what? I know. I know. It, they well, don't. They don't I, say it. he's only named Danny, Danny in the Cash. movie. So I'll call Danny. But like also they go out of their way to like avoid the mythology essentially. Yeah. Like Kerrigan is essentially supposed to be blackout, right? Yes, he is blackout. Yeah. No, but Kerrigan becomes blackout in this movie. But they never call him They fucking totally do. Really? Do they call him blackout? I didn't, I didn't hear it. I didn't Karen hear it. Karen Hines says it when he makes him. Oh, oh you got it. a different cut, man. <laughs> I just a rent- blackout cut. I just rented it on Amazon. What is blackout? Is that one of his rogues? Yeah, that's one of his famous villains. I and guess. that cut to someone being like, "I got a blackout tattoo." <laughs> Look, it's fine. Yeah. Don't tweet about it. Yeah, don't show me that. I don't care. Don't, don't take a picture and tweet it to me. <laughs> um, so blackout. Tweet whatever you want. Has the power of decay. Yes. Well, actually, in the in no. the comics, oh, oh, oh. What? in the comics, all you could do is make everything dark, and he has like razor fingers that can cut you. Open. Oh, uh, whoopty fuck! Yeah. That's not I enough for say, a tattoo. What's <laughs> stupid about this character? Uh, I, mean, yeah. I know we're jumping ahead of ourselves a little bit, but, but what's there's no really, movie here? Don't worry about it. Yeah. So the devil gives this dude the he resurrects him, gives him the power of decay. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, okay, now go find. My son, oh, whatever you do, don't 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 use your arms or legs to touch him. <laughs> That's a great question. Like what? Like you gotta give him a net then, like yeah. a big big old like dog catcher net. Well, the little kid doesn't have the decay power. No, but if you touch, oh, if if, the, if yeah, but yeah, I guess I maybe it wouldn't work because he's the Antichrist. Yeah, yeah. Oh. maybe I don't know. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. So this dude who's trying to pay for fucking, uh, he's he's scared off. The yeah, little yeah, kid picks his pocket. Sure. And you just sort of assume, like, this is how they're living? I mean, this is Romania? No. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I know it's not Romania, but, like, it's this movie's vision of Romania. <laughs> we'll just live as pickpockets. It'll yeah. be fine. And she says some line about, like, I'm sorry that we have to live this way. And he's like, what? I like it. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Well, he's half devil, man. He loves picking them pockets. Yeah, but you know what, little kid? Wouldn't you love an Nintendo too, <laughs> or a house? <laughs> Heat, heat's nice. <laughs> Indoor plumbing, all those. No, are great. he prefers idle hands. It's the devil's work. Oh yeah, yeah. dude. So the de- uh, so J- Kerrigan, who is this guy Johnny Whitworth? Is that the actor? <laughs> that thing? sounds right. Who is in Empire Records? Mm-hmm. Who is he in Empire Records? The main kid. He was like the ma- not what? Yeah, the main kid. The one who's uh, ends up with Liv Tyler. Yep. No, that's yeah, him. Yeah, that's yeah. him. Holy shit. Wow. It's been a decay. while. Speak of decay. It's <laughs> been a while, Johnny. <laughs> Thinking can fly, Johnny. No. Uh, so, uh, Speaking of terrible movies, Empire Records. Yeah, oh, that's a bad movie. Uh, they grab, he grabs, he kidnaps them. They, it's revealed that he had a relationship with the mother. Ghost Rider finally shows up. 
and no one is like shitting their pants like oh my god that's a flaming skeleton <laughs> nobody reacts appropriate like listen you can see spider-man fly th- and <laughs> sure. you'll be like there's spider-man okay mm-hmm. a dude is a flaming skeleton fully dressed up like a person by the way with a motorcycle it's not a big deal in romania you see them get on the bus <laughs> <and> commute <laughs> oh that's just ghost rider <laughs> What is the deal with the fire, by the way? It's hellfire, my friend. Yeah, but so so that's why we're not, like, burning people. Yeah. Because he's he is, like, picking up people in this movie right. yeah. and carrying them to safety. Mm-hmm. And nobody is lighting on fire. Well, they're just toasty. A little warmer. Well, his hands aren't burning, right? It's just yeah, his got, head. Got no, blood. there was. it's the end of the movie. He's got the boy in his arms, oh. and he's, like, cradling him. And yeah. I'm like... How is this fucker not setting on fire? Yeah, but he's the devil. Yeah, Yeah, the Antichrist as well. All of that Antichrist umbrella. I refuse to believe that that's a (laughs) catch-all. It's an acceptable Uh, catch-all. It's a Marvel Knight movie. That's the (laughs) catch-all. So we do see the penitent stare from the first movie. Chris, you had a good description of it via text. Because they ran out of cash. Yeah, it would have to be. Like, yeah. I mean, what else are you doing? Like, it literally, he just looks like he has lockjaw. <laughs> exactly. He does. He doesn't do, in the first movie, like, he does that stare and shit happens. And there's like, that's what really I was like, talking about. Like, yeah. you go inside the person's body, there's yeah. a bunch of flame effects. Yeah. You come back out and you see, like, their eyes turn to dirt. Yeah. And it's like, you know that that the Ghost Rider has burned this person from the inside out. That's pretty fucking But in this, cool. he's just like, yeah. ah. And his mouth is wide open, and that's kind it's of just it. just Jason and, then, and the Argonauts. And the guy yes. just kind of falls out of the screen, yeah. and like you see something red happen. Yeah. It looks terrible. Can, it looks really bad. This Is this, right before this, is, uh, is this where we get the one big cage moment? Like, I didn't, th- I, in the first one, he's on total, like, neutral. And then, that's later in the you film. Mean, like, oh, okay. When he gets unhinged a little. The, yeah. the scraping at the door. Yeah, that's that's a little later in the film. Which I do want, I'll, I'll counter you on when we get to it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because uh, there was a moment I, I noticed in the first movie where he's totally fucking caging out. Here was a question I had, though. Is this little kid dubbed? This oh, I, little kid sounds tell. like he's dubbed. That's entirely possible. I mean, this movie wouldn't surprise me if they didn't have a mic a child. I'm totally <laughs> like, oops, we fucked it maybe up. Maybe he's a Romanian oh. local. Oh, maybe. Yeah. And then Nick Cage overdubbed him himself. <laughs> I'm a boy now. Reading for the part of Danny. <laughs> you gotta pay me twice. I, I like it. I like pickpocketing. <laughs> hey, Ma. <laughs> I don't know. When, um... Like when this kid, this kid and Nadia are like run off the road by this Kerrigan dude. Yeah, yeah. and he's like Kerrigan's like kicking the shit out of this kid, which yeah. is kind of funny. <laughs> uh, and then like this is where Ghost Rider intervenes. He fucks up this fat dude in Kerrigan's gang, and then says something. I don't know what exact. I don't know if he's making fun of the fat guy or what the deal is here, but he just goes hungry oh, like one of the no. ghost riders like five words he says in this movie he's hungry for souls oh that's the that's the first one too oh, right? that's, that's that's adorable there's like a scene like he kills one guy uh-huh. in this in this group and then he like you know when you put down your controller for super mario or <laughs> zelda yeah. and they start kind of like dancing <laughs> yeah <there's laughs> he little... does that <laughs> Like, he's just kind of shaking back and forth, and, like, everybody in the circle is like, what the fuck is he doing? Dude, you're, you're totally right. It's when I, it's like when a video game character goes into, like, screensaver mode. Yeah. yeah. Or, he's like, Mar- Mario falls hedge- asleep on the fucking sidewalk. Yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog is tapping his foot because he's got an attitude. Yeah, he's the most indignant one. Mm-hmm. He stinks. Uh, yeah, no, it's kind of weird, but he does more or less look like a cheap screensaver. He does. That's this movie to a T with its fucking Romanian special effects. Skeleton people, man, it's better in two D. It's yep. just so much easier <laughs> if it's on a printed page. It just looks. I mean, cool. I, I like skeleton people. Sure, you know, I like that. I like the Jason and the Argonauts effect and stuff. But maybe they should have gone that route. Maybe, maybe it should have been practical effect. They got to play up the cheese yeah. factor. This is yeah. trying to be like super cool. We're at hot topic. And you know what uh, is not helping that failed initiative at all is the fucking score to this movie. Yeah. It's just some dude just going to town on his dad's electric guitar. My green rock is what I call it. <laughs> Another My thing that doesn't work rock. is is when they just go to that they go to that island 
and like Pierce Brosnan needs him to help write these memoirs, and I'm like, what? oh, that's uh, writer. Oh, yeah. you oh did watch you watch the, the wrong movie again? I watched Ghost Writer too. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, yeah, Ghost Rider is on the beach a lot. <laughs> Ghost Writer, Spirit of Vengeance. It's when the it's now Ewan McGregor's hunting down the director of the film. <laughs> well, that's what I was gonna say. You can't put Ghost Rider in the same room as Roman Polanski. That guy'd be a fucking dust in two seconds. It's true. That'd be kind of cool. That'd that be would right. be great. Oh, that would work on your um your director slash fiction. Oh yeah, Ghost Rider slash Roman Polanski. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, goodness. So at this point, Kerrigan, like, it's the first of, I think, three times in this movie where this kid gets kidnapped. Yes. Yes. And Kerrigan calls up the devil on the phone who's going by uh, Murtaugh. What is he calling himself? <laughs> Rourke. O'Rourke. He's pardon. going by Murtaugh and he's calling Riggs because the <laughs> devil has now accidentally sat on a toilet with a bomb on it. Why are we called the devil Rourke? Like, come Rourke. on. Because yeah. he's just, he's supposed to have a cool name. Does Peter it's, Fonda have a cool name in the first it's movie? It's supposed Mephisto. to be Mephisto. It's, yeah. it's his main villain. Oh, That's he just cool. goes by that? Yeah, Mephistopheles like alien, at one point. Like, I don't I don't care what's on your driver, driver's license, the devil. You're the devil. I'm calling you the yeah. devil, all right? Yeah, I'm Greg Devil. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm uh, Greg Devil. I'm here to pick up your daughter. <laughs> Should it be Lucifer Devil? Lucifer. Oh, oh, shit, shit. Louis yeah, Cipher, right. baby. Yeah, Louis <laughs> Cipher. Got myself some Aaron Lewis tickets for next oh, week. God. <laughs> I think I just realized they were probably writing this movie. They were like, Louis Cipher. Oh, wait, no, that's too obvious. Oh, what else happens in Angel Heart? Mickey Rourke. Okay, the devil's name is Rourke. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. That is how they got there, dude, I, I bet. I bet you, yeah. <laughs> uh, that, that's what happened to Mickey Rourke. It was like, yeah, I, I would love to be world's most famous actor and he's like for all the wrong reasons <laughs> famously deformed <laughs> oh mercy uh so he does, kind, he does kind of look like the thinner guy at the end <laughs> at this point <laughs> good lord <laughs> poor mickey rourke it's, it's, uh, hey he's he's trying the wrestler is amazing uh, uh it is, but he's he might as well be dead now i mean what has he got to live for? Anyway, let's continue. He should be fucking riding, riding cycles with Seagal in, in Ukraine, man. Oh, yeah. It's why? kind Just of go, surprising go. that he's also not an enemy of the state. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> listen, if you were that deformed and wealthy enough, mm-hmm. wouldn't you just go crazy with it? Just yeah. go crazy. I think with he it. has. I don't think, because <laughs> I don't think not. he supported Trump, and I was waiting for it. I oh, was like, right. that, that's got to happen. And then I don't think it happened. Yeah, no. I mean, it's, it's kind of the same thrill I get with uh, seeing Ron Perlman's Twitter feed. I'm like, wow, that went the exact opposite way I assumed it was going to go. Pretty cool you, to be wrong. You were in Sons of Anarchy. Uh, so so the, uh, this dude, Kerrigan, puts the phone to this kid's ear. This is one of the dumbest uh, oh, things I, in this movie. And the devil, like, says a little curse over the phone and, like, deactivates what? this kid from Ghost he's, Rider's radar well, or whatever ready, the fuck. He's getting ready to leave Japan, man. He's got to go and he's got to <laughs> tell her what he, he he thinks of her. <laughs> but like, what if that, that at least happened in person? <laughs> what if those phones were tapped and suddenly like some government agency now knows the code to yeah. not be tracked by Ghost Rider? You just got a bunch of crooked Romanian cops that are also not tracked by Ghost just Rider. Activating antichrists across <laughs> Romania. Why not? That would actually that's a pretty cool turn. It's like, oh no, the Romanian police department of some kind was listening in on this. Like, oh fuck. Like, oh, what are we gonna do? Now all these dudes are waking up. Oh shit! Oh, Sleepers That's what it is. It's turns- a real monster party. Get me a monster party, not just one monster, right. and not You're the already- devil again. You're already in Romania. Guess what? Yeah. That phone call woke up Dracula. <laughs> yep. It- and it turns out that uh, you know the devil was essentially Romania's Will Chamberlain, <laughs> <laughs> just oh, <man>. everywhere. <laughs> Hey, so how did this Nadia woman get fucked by the devil? Well, because she Sexually. was she was <laughs> she was running with Kerrigan back in the old days, back when Kerrigan was cool. You know, right? What I mean? back oh in yeah, the yeah, all yeah. or nothing days. It was like <laughs> it was like right when his first solo album came out. <laughs> he was on tour with Aaron Lewis. Uh, it was <laughs> Kerrigan, uh, Laker, Palmer, or whatever. That <laughs> but so like they're running guns or something, and something goes wrong. She falls out a three-story window. She's going to die. 
and the devil shows up and he's like, I will save your life if you do me a favor and carry my son. Nope. That is the one thing I won't do for the devil because always giving birth to the devil's son is a dicey situation. Oh, yeah. Well, you get a bad rep after that. You get a you bad know. rep. It's got to be. It's always painful. Horns There's always... coming out when, you know. Yeah, exactly. You, know, yeah, like, you don't I'm know sure how that's going to go. It's tough enough. You know, after, baby. After, uh, after the pass a baby. My <laughs> God. It's tough enough to it's not pass a not a fucking a gallstone. <laughs> you're, you're, you're right. It's worse. <laughs> No, we think about like after those closing moments. Speaking of Roman Polanski, right? Like yeah. everybody, she's outside for a outside bit. of the the apartment cult. Sure, everybody else is like, "Fuck you, Rosemary! <laughs> you fucking birthed the son of the devil. You put the son hey, of the fuck devil." You, Rosemary. That's the that's the lady who sex with a devil. She's just getting yelled at on Central Park West. <laughs> There's that lady with that fucking devil baby. <laughs> fuck you, Rosemary. Hey, Rosemary, you think the Yankees got a shot anyway? Fuck you. <laughs> but like, but Rosemary yeah. voted for Koch twice. <laughs> but the thing is, yeah, with yeah, but also it's 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 a it's a raw deal for her too because like Johnny Blaze doesn't have to get pregnant. You know what I mean? He saves his soul. He becomes Ghost Rider. It's not they should well, make him he, pregnant. Uh, they should make him pregnant yeah. like a junior type of thing. <laughs> he well, saves yeah. his soul and then oh, he watches whoa. his father get murdered. Yeah. I'm pregnant. Every time the devil gives you a job, yeah, essentially, yeah, he, yeah that's he, true. Essentially, gives Ghost Rider's got to be his like personal Grim Reaper, right? And then yeah. the lady's got to carry his fucking child. He's fucking Antichrist. Yeah, it's not fun. So, so she does that. Uh, she winds up meeting uh, Cage in the hospital because Cage gets like shot with a grenade launcher and like knocks out. Uh, yeah, I guess it deactivates Ghost Rider, which never happens again in this movie. The rest of this movie, he's getting blown to kingdom come. It does not matter. It's God mode. He yeah, just puts yeah. on God mode. And I forgot to put in the cheat code. <laughs> <laughs> and yet something called a slug thrower actually does damage to him. Oh, no, that, yeah. That's, that they uh, never explain. Like, it's just like, oh, this special gun hurts him. I think he gets hit with that special gun later in the film and nothing happens. At least one, like, one time it hurts, another time it doesn't. It's very up and down. Is it because he gets thrown into, a, like, the side of a car, too? You yeah. think, like, the combo sort of. Oh, ooh, right. Maybe yeah. did something there. I don't really that's know. That's Ghost Rider's weakness. So there's cars. a lot of getting thrown against cars. That's There's like a- when Gary Busey was a uh, ghost rider <laughs> and he, I hit a car and my brain got splattered. <laughs> and that's, Man. see, then the power went off. Somebody threw holy water as my face was coming back to normal after being Ghost Rider. Now it looks like this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Gary Busey in 1982's Sam Raimi's Ghost Rider. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, yeah. Mm-hmm. It would be like all puppets and shit. It would be <laughs> uh, great. You know what, though? It would probably also be kind of shitty. Oh, Dude, yeah. It'd be like, <laughs> like, you watch, like, I think it was the end of Evil Dead 1. I think by Evil Dead 2, there's less of this, but, like, the claymation stuff gets into yes. play. yeah. Dude, I would go for I would oh, go dude, for yeah, claymation on, in this. That uh, that first Evil Dead has some serious clay play going on. <laughs> there was a, there was a lot of clay play in horror back then. The Gate has tons of claymation. Oh yeah, oh, yeah it does actually. Yeah. Wallace and Gromit. That is horror. <laughs> Which since it's Patreon, there's a paywall. I could say that. We did uh, psychotropic mushrooms one night, and uh, <laughs> yes. Chris Cabin decided to put on Wallace and Gromit, and I spent. The rest of the evening coming down trying to understand what humans looked like. <laughs> <laughs> and then we put on like 30 Rock and I was just like, Alec Balt, that's not a person. <laughs> he had the wrong trousers on. I was man. like, that's a bunch of clay. <laughs> also, by the way, they keep talking about like Cage made like the deal, right? Yeah, the deal yeah. with the devil, blah, blah, blah. And they say something in this movie about like, yeah, it's because of the deal that everybody thought we would ascend to this higher thing, but it was a bad deal. And I was like, did this shitty Ghost Rider sequel predict the rise of Donald Trump? Oh, maybe. Because we're just like, the deal, the deal, the deal. And then all of a sudden it's like, no, 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 it was a bad deal. That was a bad deal. <laughs> I, I, I Only the best deals with the devil. <laughs> the Iran deal is a bad deal. It's a bad deal. No, I'm not the devil. No, Obama. Obama's the devil. My son, Don Jr., at night when the moon is rising, his skull <laughs> catches on fire, <laughs> and he becomes the ghost rider. Nope. Everything Eric touches decays. <laughs> he would just be doing, like, donuts in the uh, in the front lawn of the White House <laughs> yep. saying, Hey, Dad! Dad, are you watching me? Dad! 
the thing about the devil is you need to keep going. You have to say, I want to be very successful. And the devil's going to say, your wish is granted. You have to say, no, I want to be successful in real estate, then have a shitty TV show, then somehow <laughs> survive bankruptcy 16 times, and then have an implausible presidential election, and then avoid special prosecution for years and years and years. You just got to say it all in one breath, man. That's how you make the best deal with the devil. <laughs> I was watching. Uh, Good deal. I was watching. He is a, President Deals. I mean, I was watching a, an old Seinfeld the other day, mm-hmm. and it's where Jerry is coming back from like Memphis or some shit, and he's got like the hot, the barbecue sauce yeah. in the suitcase, and the the flight attendant smashes it in the overhead, and it breaks. Yeah. The establishing shot of his is him at the airport. Jerry Seinfeld flying Trump Airlines. Oh wow! Oh, yeah, it was wow. crazy. Like, oh, the '90s were alive. Yikes. <laughs> so, um, they wind up working together because there's a will, they won't. They work together. They work together. This uh, is the, this is where Chris Cabin was talking about the scraping at the door moment because she, she's like, "Oh, I know where Kerrigan's friends are. It's at this underground fight club that looks like where Blade hangs club, out." Uh, 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 Emphasize club because there's like a DJ, yes. there's fucking lighting, yeah, people like, are dancing, I, and then people are fighting with a like, glass. Here's the problem with this, and maybe I mean I don't think it's. I think You've it's, never been to Romania, so no, just, well, yes, I haven't. <laughs> but I think a lot of this is Hollywood's interpretation of Eastern Europe that every single thing looks like a cave or a <laughs> missile silo. Yes, everything yeah. takes place in a basement. Yeah, yeah it's absolutely. just all Chernobyl. It's just a bunch of Chernobyls. I, I honestly was waiting for like the virtuosity audience, like. Kapow! <laughs> yeah. Kapow! Yes, yes. Oh, I missed that movie. Uh, but you're right. But like, yeah, it's just a weird uh, that comes to nothing. It's just like these people are fight cage fighting for no reason. Like literal Mortal Combat is happening. <laughs> you should, dude. There should be like a oh, side. Shit, I'm an outworld. <laughs> oh fuck! I'm gonna get my head uppercutted off. He's pretty much Gary Busey. I mean, it's a bad impression, but he's pretty much Gary Busey. Like. He does like it's almost he'll like, get there. It's Jimmy Stewart. It's like the, it's the idea that the, your gums recede when you do that much cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> to cabins to counter Chris Cabin, your yes. your point about so he says something about like you hear what is it the devil scraping at the door? who's no, scraping? He, he's what? like he's he's holding back the Ghost Rider in front of the uh, informant the guy, or the whatever. Informant. Oh yes, yeah, 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 yeah. He's gripping at the door, scraping at the door. <laughs> right, and while yes, Chris Cabin, that is crazy. I may point you back to the first film. The first time in which he converts into the Ghost Rider is some of the funniest fucking caging out you will ever but, see in your life. But that's more CGI, and he's not saying anything that's fucking ridiculous. Scraping at the door. He's like, scraping at the door. He's scraping at the door. Reminded me of, uh, you dudes remember that show American Gothic? A little bit, no, not really. No. It was it was one of those, like, right before the X-Files shows. Sure, sure. It's, oh, a, it's like, wait, 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 I think I remember this. It was an old man holding a pitchfork <laughs> next to a next to a lady right and it was the the guy who's in that third uh fast and furious movie shane black yeah, no not she... shane black shane lucas, black is the director lucas black? lucas black i think from the uh, friday night lights movie yes he is like this little boy it was like some sort of supernatural thing in the commercials were always this kid going someone's at the door and then then there was like a knock (laughs) i'd never watched it because i remember my mother would always be like oh that show's too scary for you Uh, but then like around the house she'd be like someone's at the door and i'd be like you can't mimic the thing you said was too terrifying that's just good marketing (laughs) (laughs) so but the weird thing is what he does and i don't know if it's in the first movie like where he's almost ghost riding her out. This is the worst effect you'll ever see. He does not Jekyll and Hyde in that first movie. What he does, which doesn't happen here, is he turns it off like a fucking faucet. Okay. On and off, he's like, now I'm the ghost rider. Now I'm not. Now I'm the well, ghost rider. Now I'm not. To your credit, that is the transformation scene is one of the best scenes in the first one. Mm-hmm. And like, it's exciting. And like, you're like, oh man. But like, now it's just like, there's that fucking like, it looks like a bad Madonna video where he's going through the streets <laughs> yeah. and his eyes are bulging yeah, out. And he's like, oh, that is terrible. But he's yeah. also playing it like he's got fucking Ghost Rider IBS. Like, he's like oh, I got to, oh, Jesus. Can I use your bathroom? I got a Ghost Rider real can, quick. Can I use your coffee? <laughs> scraping at the door. Did, did you, did you, yeah, yes, you are absolutely. That, I, I've been in a scraping at the door situation. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Turtle heading. <laughs> Hey John, you in the bathroom yet? John, John, he's scraping at the door. Look, he's scraping at the door. Now, God, he's now listen. At the door. 
what? This is an initiative for all listeners yes. who are consuming this podcast right now. Shit uh-huh. fire tonight. We Shit want fire. to get that started. So now whenever you have to use the bathroom, specifically for a number two situation, <laughs> and someone's being slow about it, get up to that bathroom door and just knock and be like, it's screaming at the door! Oh, it's screaming at the door! It's get that going. Screaming at the door! Get it going, listeners. That would be fucking great. That, that, I just yeah. want to be in a bar somewhere yes. someday, and I'm waiting online for the bathroom, and I see the person in front of me knock and just go, oh, it's screaming at the door. And I'm like, oh, look shit. at that. Look at that influence. I feel like that would change the fabric of American society. Yeah. <laughs> well, it couldn't hurt to try something. I, I will tell you that that would have helped me when I was at the Alamo the other week, uh, probably oh. a couple of months ago. Some dude was just on, he was a worker, he was just on the toilet looking at his phone, and you could tell he was fully clothed in there, but I'm like, <laughs> he's screaming to the door! Dude, you wait, know wait, what? You gotta wait. get on Twitter and tell them about hold, that. Hold on a second. You could tell he's fully clothed I just there? saw the pants. Bring out, brought out your mirror? <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't have to bring key. anything out. They were, always, they were always stuck on the tip of his shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or, or wing tips. <laughs> Shiny wing fucking Chuck Berry. That's what we call the Larry Craig. <laughs> Wait, well, that was a guy in the airport, right? That yeah, Republican? That, that yeah. A hundred yeah, yeah. years ago? Yep. Okay. So, I mean, like, he, you know, he he doesn't ghost rider out here. They find out where he is. There's another. This scene is almost interchangeable with the first scene. That's the thing. This movie is like a bunch of Ghost Rider fucking backstory and then four chase scenes. Ugh. So this is the scene where like they're buying guns to stop Ghost Rider. <laughs> this is where that crazy missile gun is in. That's not even. That's like the first fight. Kerrigan does that in the first. I don't know. So they already have this weapon that decimates him. There's another one though, because the thing that Steve is referring to, if I'm. Yes, thinking yeah. of the same part of the movie, it's like a heat seeking missile, yeah, yeah, or something. And he well, kind of ghost riders around and makes it crash. Well, the first one's called a slug thrower. The one you're talking about is the vacuum yeah, bomb that like, like sucks, sucks the fire out, sucks the oxygen, and then it explodes. Oh or something. my god! Okay, yeah, so, they, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that's he about does, where I'm at. He does that, and it's like, oh no, ghost riders down for the count, but he gets up. Oh, he heard it, he heard it from the crowd, <laughs> but it, the Romanian it, crowd, and he, he his his fire goes out he's just walking around like a skeleton which looks pretty fun and then like they're like oh we got you ghost rider but then he gets inside of a crane and he starts crane elevening everybody that's and true it's, uh, it's outrageous this thing like comes to life in the rider fashion a little bit yeah yeah uh i read somewhere i think it was on the movie's wikipedia page uh, that this is saying. like the biggest motorized vehicle on the planet until <laughs> until like 1995 yeah, yeah. but the funniest thing was they didn't give up like what the thing was that took that over i know i want to see like a whole chart like give me the sizes totally it's like you know like uh like this the the the, the line of man yeah like the evolution of man <laughs> oh shit the evolution of machine <laughs> <laughs> oh that's right dude the end of it is just a terminator yeah oh man ghost rider versus terminator i'll watch that movie you like you can't step on his skull oh what it's getting up james cameron was playing with a little bit of i think it's the second one the beginning of terminator 2 there's that shot of the terminator the the skull and there's fire behind it that's fucking gross rider baby you're totally right you're telling me james cameron didn't know what he was doing he knew what he was doing he was auditioning (laughs) for ghost rider there's a scene in this movie it's after all that machine nonsense where it's like we need a downtime scene and they go to a diner and this scene more than any of the other scenes is where i don't know maybe this was like the first scene they filmed or something cage is really laying on this southern accent i don't know why more so than the rest of the movie and in that first movie he is doing an accent through the whole thing yeah Mm -hmm. this movie it's not as prevalent but when we sit down at this greasy spoon He's twanging it up, man. It's really weird. Is he's this like, where he's drinking the pitch, like the, the pitcher vase? of water? Yeah. Yes, because he. Yeah. Well, also the, the. I mean, the scene's kind of inconsequential. Like Ghost Rider fucks everybody up in a crane, but the kid he's about to kill the mother because the Ghost Rider's like, "Oh, you're evil." Yeah. And the kid is like, "You're not Ghost Rider anymore." He's like, "Wow, I'm not Ghost Rider anymore." And oh, that's like, right. Yeah, that he's never comes powers. up ever again. And also, like, if the kid is devil, and if the kid is the devil. And he can do that. Why can't the devil do that? Why can't the devil be like, you're no longer Ghost Rider. Stop being Ghost Rider for five minutes. Yeah, problem solved. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Also, oh, also in that dumb fight with the crane is where a dude shoots him in the face with yeah. a machine gun and he oh. eats all the bullets and then vomits up like molten first, metal. That's the first of two bullet vomits in this movie. Uh, yeah. uh, excuse me, I've seen the film The Mask and that's... <laughs> 
Nice try, that's, movie. That's a Ghost Rider too, right? Yeah, he, he swallows kinda, souls. He kind of does. He swallows bombs too. Um, so isn't this where Kerrigan dies? Oh, or, yeah, Kerrigan isn't that gets, around the machinery at least? Yes, yes. He gets crushed and he then, gets just thrown into like the scrap metal or something. And then scraps. <laughs> Uh, and Mephisto comes and gives him the powers. Yeah, he's like, I'm going to make you black out now. That's yeah, awesome. yeah, I guess, That's yeah. pretty much it. And That's... around this time is where we get the first uh, pissing flames joke because Cage is this like is just... explaining to this little kid like what it's like to be Ghost Rider or some shit. Yeah, he's like, and what happens when you pee? And he's like, well, it goes like this. And he's like, he and, and it's fine. It's a fine little joke. Like we're trying to do like a Terminator thing, right? He's yeah. bonding yeah. with the kid. And he's like, it goes like this, and he's miming pissing, and he's like, it's a flamethrower. And that's like a fine joke. Like, I'm kind of almost chuckling. But then they go to the cartoon, and they show it. Right. Why? Because we are scraping together as many seconds as possible in which uh, we can create a feature film. Yeah. I, you know I, that Michael Bay is awfully stodgy. <laughs> we got to make it stupider than uh, that. Well, you, this is like this is the fun and games portion of the film. <laughs> they do the little right, montage. It's the, it's the downtime. Yeah, that's you know we're get, It's the heart of the movie. And yeah, exa- yeah, it's true. It's, it's where he bonds with Danny. Exactly. The and one- somewhere around here, if I'm not mistaken, they meet back up with Idris Elba, like yeah, on been, the road, they go to the ruins, and like because she knew. He's like, hey, you know who Idris? You know who Moreau? You know Black Priest, alcoholic. Has a French accent, you know that guy. And then he also says, "You're like the devil's baby mom." Oh, hey, right. Hey, oh. audience, back row. Is this working for anybody or what? <laughs> <laughs> but so they meet back up with Idris, and he's like, "Oh, you know what we can do to like keep this kid safe is go to this temple." This is the second time I was shocked, floored by a, <laughs> a cast member. And so we go to this temple. It's back where Giles was murdered at yeah. the beginning of the movie. So like, yeah, safe place, buddy. <laughs> Uh, but now, I guess because Giles was killed, this place has been taken over by Christopher Lambert. Nice. And just like Nick Cage, he has uh, tattoos of all of his faces from all of his movies <laughs> all over his face. Right. Dude, oh, he's yeah. got it's the punch, punch card punch on his face. <laughs> like, I gotta say, oh, hey, Ghost Rider. <laughs> this, one, this one's for Fortress. <laughs> <laughs> this is that Beowulf movie that no one's ever seen. I will say there's two... Uh, trivia fact about uh, 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 Christopher Lambert's performance as, by the way, Methodius. Oh, oh Methodius. God, who is keeping track? Two things. One, which is he, he got three months of sword training for this role. What? Three months? Three months. Hey, guess what? If you do sword training, they have to pay you for it. <laughs> <laughs> Does no, he? I got to study. Those, I'm on the clock. Genuine question. Does he handle a sword in this? For like 18 seconds. I was yeah. going to say, there's not much, man. <laughs> this movie doesn't top 100 minutes. I would be getting my sword money's worth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm just saying, if I got to hold the sword, I need at least, let's go to three months of sword training. Yeah, it's Christopher Lambert's jury duty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. If you're going to do something, you do it right. <laughs> the other, even the best part is that the tattoos, the fake tattoos they gave him, took so long. He left them on overnight when I he went it. back to his hotel. Dude, wow. I love that. Like, hey, wow, I'm starving. Let me get a number three uh, <laughs> yeah. extra mayonnaise. Also, don't ask. <laughs> that's what. That's probably what Doug Jones did for the Bye Bye Man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was fine, Judy. He just had to take off a hoodie. Yeah. Well, these are all method actors we're talking about. So he stayed as, Me- was it, Methodius? Methodius. He stayed as Methodius for the entire time. I have three lines in this movie. I better really get into character. <laughs> that's, all the, that's all he could say when he was in character back at the hotel. Is Danny no. <laughs> and whatever else he says. They are at one point in this film subsisting on communion wafers. Is that correct? Yeah. <laughs> they got wine, too. I guess that's I, the well, so, no, It's Christ. really weird. Idris opens up this, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a lifelong Catholic. I'm not really lifelong, at least the first part of it anyway. Uh, they, Idris opens up this, like, huge piece of old, crusty bread. I was getting hungry. I was like, that, that's what I wanted at the church. Not these fucking little, no. little wafers. <sighs> yeah, dude. Like, you, I would dream of, because, again, raised Catholic. Sure. Lifelong Catholic. Yeah. Let let the membership card lapse at this point. Mm-hmm. But on Thanksgiving, oh, they would have yes. they because they would do like a quick 
uh, Thanksgiving pageant. Uh, okay. Uh, which for uh, an Italian Catholic church in the 1990s, it's about as racist as you'd suspect it to be. <laughs> sure, sure. A lot of people dressed up as Indians, mm. right? But you would get, instead of the communion wafer, they had like a little like pre wrapped mm. roll, and you would go and like get to like get a piece of bread. And that was the only time. Yeah. Uh, everything else, it was the hyper compressed well, wafer. Well, here's what you do you go to a Greek Orthodox service on Palm Sunday, there's actual bread. Wow. That's all right. cut. Now we're not on. like a little roll, but like they're cutting bread up. That there. is the hearty body of Christ, dude. <laughs> That's true. That's Greek you, Christ. You could dip that in some fucking Campbell's soup, man. Yeah, that was some really good sound editing. Reggie! Are you eating your communion bread? <laughs> Tired of communion bread that leaves you hungry? Blood of Christ now, chunky vegetable style. <laughs> oh, God. Ew. Well, that's the thing is that Idris Elba is like an alcoholic in this movie for some reason. So basically, like, <sighs> Christopher Lambert is like, oh, thank you for the child. By the way, thanks for the sword lessons. <laughs> but I'll, I'll use them in another movie where presumably I'll get to hold a sword. <laughs> They're remaking First Night. I'm going to be there. Are they really? No. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry but to he's get you like, excited. Now we're taking the plot of Superman 2 and Spider-Man 2, which is like in the middle of the movie, the superhero loses his superpowers. Yep voluntarily and he's so happy and oh no he should have been a superhero the whole time so Idris Elba takes him to some weird like fortress temple thing yeah he's got some vision quest that happens here we're eating a lot of good bread he's taking these, all these old wine out he says oh this this wine is just or I'm sorry this wine is 2,000 years old I'm like Whoa. Any, at a certain point no, wine can't be good no yeah exactly that and no it's not by the way yeah, no, that's not 2,000 years old. Oh, yeah, that's a 2,000. That Carlo Rossi is 2,000 years old. <laughs> well, he makes a chunk about it later when he's uh, like, it's a salad dressing because that's what happens. Like, it just turns into vinegar. Yeah, it tastes yeah. like vinegar. Yeah, right, right, right. Peter brewed this himself. <laughs> he helped found the Catholic Church. He made this wine for you, and then he now guards heaven. <laughs> There's also the black plague in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You don't know what you're putting in your body. <laughs> you open yeah. that bottle. Yeah, dude. Notes, Hellraiser's coming out. Notes of the black yeah. plague. Your, your wish you are so possessed by the devil. <laughs> yeah, I can't bring a plant back from Australia. Yet you could drink this. <laughs> oh, hey, a filmmaker. Excuse me. I'm looking at the script. It seems like my character is in charge of all this wine. I should take wine mat making classes for you like know seven months i'm not filming this wine scene until i'm a certified sommelier <laughs> you so know what we the- gotta fire fucking christopher lambert you know what it's happened we gotta fucking fire him get say- jason statham i love that they cast him though it he was, keeps it was making great. us register him for all these adult ed classes he wants to become a tattoo artist <laughs> Uh, So Christopher Lambert, by the way, is like, oh, and the other thing, uh, we feel it's best if we murdered the child. Yeah. Which makes a but short story. The end of the the, the Idris scene is he takes away the Johnny Johnny Blaze ghost rider. He he cures him. Fine. Right, 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 right. So now now he doesn't have any power. And he's like, oh, by the way, let's kill that fucking kid. Which (laughs) makes all the sense (laughs) in the world. Yes, that's Yes. Sorry, Lambert is correct. But also, As always, Lambert. Also, story. this is so fucking stu- Oh, the devil's after me. Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not take away my powers? Yes. Yeah, no, make Let me just no be sense. a mortal guy. Like, why don't you wait till this whole thing blows over? <laughs> exactly. Then if you don't want your powers anymore, fine. If you eat yourself, know, come back in a month. Exactly. You know where this monastery is? Mm-hmm. Well, let me get this straight. You want a guy, the, 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 the devil's Grim Reaper guy, he's going to be the influence that stops the Antichrist. <laughs> From being the Antichrist. Sure. That's all that I, I guess that's the plan. I guess so. I that, think that's the idea. That's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> kill this kid now. Exactly. Yeah. Who knows what this kid's gonna turn into? You that's know very I mean? true. Yeah, kill them all. Kill all the kids. So, so what and, they want to do. You don't kill Johnny Blaze while you're at it. That guy's part of the devil. Exactly. Cup. We don't want this devil shit. They should have they should they really should have just killed them all immediately. Yes, exactly. Instead they have to put 
Lambert with his sword training has to <laughs> three months of it. has to put on a show and like we're going to a field. We're gonna get in a circle and we're gonna hold hands and <laughs> and I'm gonna cut your fucking head off. Exactly. Man. Like just stab this kid in the back when he's not looking. Exactly. So the ritual, by the way, is they're going to take Rourke's soul uh-huh. and put it in Danny's body. Uh, yeah. Danny's soul is is just fucking garbage at sure. this point. And then the devil himself. Yeah. And I don't understand what the difference is here because now the whole thing is like, well, the devil will be able to walk the earth. Well, what the fuck is he doing? Well, they, they, he's been Peter well, fonda well, all over the place. There's that's there. Here's something because when he makes blackout, when he turns Kerrigan into blackout. Yeah. He has like a stroke face. He does. He gives himself a stroke face. He used his power. Oh, so now he needs a new, you know, a battery essentially. Oh, I see what's going. Oh, so al- this is just the next like transfer. Yeah, it's almost like being John Malkovich in that way. But it's also, <laughs> oh, you know what? It's almost like being John Malkovich in that it's, way. It's uh, on the six and a half floor. Hey, oh wow, this uh, this screenplay sounds a lot like being John Malkovich. You better get me the Blu-ray so I get to watch. Heinz. Heinz, 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 Heinz. Heinz, 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 Heinz. I'm so glad I did my research because now I get that joke. <laughs> hey, can I just get the first Ghost Rider comic sign? It's the only way I'll be in this movie. No, uh, but yeah. So Blackout comes and kills Christopher Lambert and kills all the other people. And the, But the other thing about this ritual that's going to happen is the kid, because he's the devil's son, is stronger. And it, like, right. like apparently Kieran Hines was just some guy. This will be making him even stronger. Right. Or Which something. is, you know, that's that's bone chilling. Well, he's got the vitality. He's a young kid. He's a young whippersnapper. Got your devil vitality serum. <laughs> <laughs> Used uh, by the Antichrist. We do have documentation. So. I've seen that research. This is authentic stuff, people. This is right out of the book of Revelations. You're going to want this in your bunker when the time comes. <laughs> Shaved demon bone soup, folks. <laughs> Puts 50 years on you. Not only that, you need your brain pills. You need to be smart. <laughs> brain farts. Flux. You need to buy these. <laughs> Paul Joseph Watson, you tell him about these pills. <laughs> They're excellent. Thank you so much. Oh, no, we've been canceled off YouTube. No, we're not. YouTube loves Nazis. Man, his fucking groveling to uh, that David Hogg dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was that fucking beautiful. great. Oh, would you please debate me? Oh. <laughs> so Idris is like, all right, if we're going to fight these fuckers, these monks are packing heat. Yeah. And they go into this fucking chamber, and it's one of the worst lines in the movie. It's like this crazy yeah. arsenal and all this stuff. And Cage is just like, wow. Naughty priest. Ah. Yeah, that's great. Yes. So <laughs> at the end of the movie, it's this this ritual is going on, and the, the all these acolytes of the devil show up, and I think uh, it's all these like Romanians we haven't seen before. Yeah. But I think they mentioned them as like devil soldiers. They're either? devil soldiers because they're politicians. Yeah. So and so and so and so. Oh, that's a detail. I totally fucking yeah. Yes. Dude, Ted Cruz is there. <laughs> oh my god, he's totally there, and he gets up on stage and talks shit about the devil, but then he grovels afterwards. Exactly. <laughs> then he makes some fucking horrendous Homer Simpson comparison. Ugh. And then he commiserates with Tom Cotton. Oh, you said Ted Cruz. I won't have an erection for at least five days. Yeah, that's how that works. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> just think of him liking that porn tweet. Oh, yeah. You totally. About, you dude. hear about this? Yeah. Oh, everyone saw that. <laughs> yeah, we heard about that one. Yeah, that was, a, that was like a year ago. Dude. He's definitely jerked off in his office. That's oh, what that of tells course, me. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> So, yeah, we're having this big, dumb fight. Yeah, I guess there are all these fucking acolytes, man. I didn't really put that together. I was like, oh, look at all those Romanians. Yeah, I know. It's just well, a no, bunch I of... I think like... we're in, like, in Turkey now. Don't we, yeah. like... Oh, right. We, we do. To... We jump yeah. ship to Turkey. It's, uh, yeah. It's, uh, uh, hey, what is going on? You have another uh, seat on that bus going to Turkey? <laughs> I just... I don't have anything to do for the next couple of days. I just kind of never been to turkey oh you know what though i i don't want to go to a country if i don't know its language fluently <laughs> better get some turkish language lessons <laughs> oh, oh, oh actually i need this seat for my backpack <laughs> oh man those people are scum <laughs> so somewhere around here do we mention this yet that idris gets murdered by blackout this is sort of the end of the movie like um yeah. uh we infiltrate the compound uh 
Uh, and it's just it's Idris gets killed he by start, but he starts shooting all these devil soldiers, these dudes in the black robes, which right. is great. Yeah, but then yeah, he's quickly dispatched himself, and the kid then vomits fire on Nicolas Cage, yeah. and gives him the rider curse back. Is the idea? Yeah, yeah. yeah. after under Cage's... what <laughs> circumstances? Because, because he's got the power. Of the devil, yeah. If he's and the, the devil made me the rider. <laughs> wait, he could do it without documentation. I don't got to sign. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, it's just it's a big dumb fucking stupid fight. A lot of these like acolytes. Once the rider comes back in full form, it's just a shot of these dudes running away. Yeah, kill those guys. Let me yeah. see those dirt dudes be murdered. Where is his yeah. fucking chain that he's carrying through all of that first Maybe movie? Maybe that's the... Well, no, th- there's a chain in the, yeah, in the, in the first scene. Yeah, he kills a lot of Oh, yeah, chains. I guess you're right. Yeah. And he kills all these followers. He does yeah. the uh, twirl thing. Yes, I, I sit corrected. You're but totally there's like right. an, that's the R-rated cut that nobody got. What a fucking Duke catastrophe that decision was. Sony is a stupid company. Um, Sony, Paramount, they're all run by morons. You know what? Sell them all to Disney. Then all the yeah. characters will be together. Oh, That's man, awesome. Can we just stop with that? <laughs> can we just stop with how awesome that would be if Disney just owned all of your precious you characters? You don't want to see classic characters like Indiana Jones and Mickey Mouse getting into an adventure <laughs> together? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't want to see that fucking happen, dude. You don't want to see uh, American Gigolo with the X-Men <laughs> just hanging Actually, out? Actually, I kind of do. <laughs> Or the twenty Sean Sean Penn from Twenty One Grams. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> just hanging out with Goofy. Get, it's about time he would be entered into the MCU. <laughs> oh, Jack, get Jack Nicholson from the Pledge to hang out with Logan. They they could fucking really bring you down. I'd be into Was it. Was the Pledge a fucking Sony movie? Oh, I don't know. I forget. Oh, I see. That well, actually might just, have been Paramount Vantage. <laughs> it's just a movie, and now all movies are going to be connected. Yeah, <laughs> every single movie is related to another movie, and we're going to use we repurpose every single character yeah. and reboot everything and yep. they're all gonna live together and be happy you in love a big house you <laughs> loved phantom thread and lady bird well guess what her last name is originally woodcock <laughs> <laughs> that makes both of those movies better right daniel yeah. day lewis is now coming out of retirement to play great great grandfather to lady bird and now oh, the perfect. lady bird buddy sequel. bird, yeah, buddy buddy bird. <laughs> he's gonna have a wheelchair talk about his time in the old country and how he used to do dresses and everyone says shut up grandpa <laughs> shut up i'll tell you buddy bird sounds pretty great <laughs> Not how we do things in Sacramento, Buddy Bird. <laughs> His wife brings him some tea, and he pauses for a moment, but then drinks it. Yeah. <laughs> he starts. It's two. It's two thousand three. He starts designing cargo shorts. It's, 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 the, it's the fashion now, and it's like a. He revives. <laughs> he revives Big Dog. You can. I put a little something in all of my cargo shorts. <laughs> Secrets. Oh, you know that Woodcock, he's such a genius, he only can work right if a Smash Mouth CD is playing. <laughs> oh no, all, he came in, everything seemed normal, All Star was playing, he fell over the cargo shorts. <laughs> we have to redo oh. them. Oh no, 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 no. He has to microwave the Hot Pocket himself. <laughs> All right, ladies, make all the calls you have to make. We're going to be here all night fixing these cargo shorts. (laughs) Could you not slurp your Slurpee quite so loud? (laughs) Everyone in House Woodcock is eating jerky. (laughs) Yeah, man. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, yeah, so whatever. My man. <laughs> Dude, fucking Aquaman watching Phantom <laughs> Thread. That'd be great. He loves Buddy Bird. <laughs> oh, yeah. He does mushrooms. Yeah, you show her. <laughs> so, like, now we're just doing another uh, uh, car chase scene. There's a Wilhelm scream because, you know. Sure. You know what, dude? Fuck it. Throw you it You know in. what? I always appreciate it. I know it's dumb. That's but fine. I always it's always that's kinda... actually the one. That's the one. Thing connecting all cinema is the film. Yes. That's the thread. That's the through line. The Phantom true. Thread. Uh, the rider at this point kills Kerrigan by just taking him and throwing him under a truck, and yeah. he gets run over. I was like, "Isn't this a fantastical being?" Yeah, I was like, "Oh, is he going to get up?" No. Nope. Oh, he's dead. That's that's the end of that. Huh? Oh, just like the rider, he's not, he's not immune to cars and trucks. That's the natural enemy. I see. And that he, makes total sense. And he says, "Road." Kill. He certainly does <laughs> because I'm looking for this fucking cartoon to make jokes at me. You and have it, so few lines. That's the one you went with. Yep. And these and so the devil is driving away in a fucking 
a geo with this kid <laughs> and doing like 40 and the, the rider's like i'm gonna run him off the road i'm like that's a bad idea yeah well Are you, trying you to know, kill this kid or what i think it's two technically supernatural beings yeah just flip that car <laughs> see what happens take your so chances that's what happens look what's the worst that happens they're both dead that's not really that bad that's true if this kid comes up dead at the end of this movie eh, Son of the devil, I got no time for it. I don't no, totally. He does come up dead, kind of. He, he kind of does. does. He, he is sort of it. dead. Nicholas Cage drags him out of the car and, like, <laughs> tosses him back to the mother. He goes to exterminate the devil in the laziest way possible. Yep. He basically, it's like, you know, in Mortal Kombat, there was, like, the basic fatality and, like, sure. the way cool fatality. Yeah. This is, like, the basic <laughs> Ghost Rider fatality. Uh-huh. You can always uppercut him into the fucking the, the, the the pins. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just like, you know, why don't you go home or whatever the fuck it is. He strings him up with his chain and then just slams him on the ground and he goes back to hell. Into really? This, Which is actual, at the center of yes, the earth. Yes, an actual <laughs> tunnel to hell. We opened a tunnel to hell. <laughs> it's in Turkey. <laughs> and, like that checks. You out. can't leave that fucking shit open. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that that ending, that you better be like pushing a boulder into it or something. Yeah. Covering it with a bunch of sticks. Yeah, that's what Some happens. Branches. Oh, the river stick. That's what happens to Allison. What's her name in Dragon Man Hell? She falls in it. She's like, oh, yeah. cool. Oh no. Oh, that's right. Man, that was a good movie. Why did he yeah. make that Oz movie? Why doesn't he just make Drag Me to Hell all the time? Yeah, every two years, make drag me to hell. I, I really like Ash vs. Evil. I think it's a really good show. I, I think I agree with you. I while we were talking, I looked at his IMDb. He only directed one episode. Only one? Yeah, but I'm sure. Yeah. But he's but cashing is he like checks. the main producer. Yeah, on come it on, he, yeah, of course he's cashing checks. Come on. <laughs> How much Ted Raimi on that show? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, no, really? He's, he's probably he's working a bit. on it. I don't know if he's actually in it. That's yeah. unfortunate. Come on, get Ted um, Raimi. In but it. I, I haven't seen the new season yet. Have you seen the, the last movie? season or the upcoming? No, season? the upcoming. It's already started airing. Oh, it already did. Yeah, I heard that the vibe is changing. They're going more horror, less comedy now. That's what I heard. I mean, I thought it was more Evil Dead and less Evil Dead too. Yeah. I mean, it was pretty horrific before. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I watched, was I watched like half of the first season. I liked it, and then I just fell off with it. Yeah. But I do like it. Maybe someday I'll get back to too it. much TV. So there is that's oh oh he the bring, writer oh go ahead he brings so basically in the middle of the movie uh, when when uh, uh, Idris Elba takes the soul away he lets him know what the demon is that's inside him it's called Zaratos which is actually from the comics okay. and blah 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 and like there's a bunch of stuff wherein he was a good angel but then the devil made him crazy so now he's a spirit of vengeance uh-huh. and he's like <laughs> I could feel the good angel inside me. Hold on, let me just use that a little bit. Let me just shuff, shiv, shuffle my butthole here. Scratch it in the door! Scratch it in the door! Oh, now I just turned blue. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Uh, but it's it's kind of a great reaction from the mother because Nadia right here is like, well, this kid's dead, so yeah, fuck it. Yeah, I'd, Touch his head. Do whatever you want to do. I would be, if I was that lady, I'd be like, you know what? Leave it. You know what? Just leave it. <laughs> Let's bury this kid and move on. He's yeah. got like some big like greet the day um, yoga mantra. Like he like yeah. presses things against his chest and then goes like this. Yeah, well, he I does, don't know he what does that a little is. bit of a Wakanda forever at the end of the movie. <laughs> he sort of does. It's pretty <laughs> stupid. And then, yeah, the kid's alive. Everybody's fucking happy. His narration kicks back in again. And he ends it with, yes, hell yes. Oh, does he? Yeah, yeah he does. dude. That's Because he I heard I'm Johnny Blaze. No strike. And then it ends. It just sounds like there was going to be a, that's a really long speech. It's like, I'm Johnny Blaze, Ghost Rider. And there, I learned a lot on this mission. And... <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he's, what the first part of the statement is. It's mm. something about like. I wrote down hell yes too, but I don't know yeah. what it's in reference Yeah, it to. ends with yes, hell yes, whatever it is. So is there any way I probably would need some automotive repair lessons? That's a good <laughs> career. You can make a lot of money. Dude. Hey, hey, pay me to learn how to fix an air conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> I really, really may need that in the coming years. Uh, for this movie, <laughs> this, this Mortal Kombat mo- money is running out fast. Oh, man, Christopher Lambert as like an old dude who, who spent his whole life repairing air conditioners. <laughs> And he's like, the world is changing. I don't know what to do. You know? And he's yeah. just like downtrodden. The economy. Ah. <laughs> I would see that movie. He kills himself in the end. It's a beautiful, oh, yeah. it's a oh, beautiful definitely kills art himself. film. Yeah. Oh, beautiful yeah. Yeah. art oh, totally. film. Get, get an Oscar for Lambert. I've said it before. I'll say I, it again. Yes. I think yeah. you should just get an honorary one at this point. 
Really good in the Sicilian. You could have done that. There you go. That was your one chance. Yeah, that's it. Or Highlander. <laughs> yes. Uh, so that's the end of this fucking terrible movie. He rides off into the sunset, sort of, I guess. I don't know. Most of this movie, which is supposed to take place at night, is definitely the worst day for a night you've ever seen in your life. It's like fucking Tuesday afternoon in the <laughs> Turkish desert. Can, can I just really, I, I hate to go back to Christopher Lambert, but Eric just put it in my brain. I love to go back to Christopher Lambert. What a scam he was running on these people. They're like, oh, Christopher, in this scene, you have to use a sword. And he's like, a sword? What's this? It's like that's your most famous oh, fucking role. You're totally yeah. right. You know how to use a sword, motherfucker. <laughs> exactly. I don't. How do you hold this wait, thing? The uh, pointy end. Wait, do I hold the pointy end? <laughs> I guess we have to get him these three months of lessons. S W O R D. Nope, never heard of it. God damn it, Christopher Lambert. I used to repair air conditioners. Now I'm trying to repair myself. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Get the Oscar. Get, Get the, the Oscar, Oscar polished. Uh, would anybody recommend this movie? No, it's not a movie. <laughs> it's not a movie. It's that's. It, it, I was surprised how little story there is here. And like, yeah. It's, and like, I guess if you're, this is an affliction T-shirt come to life. It really is. It's like <laughs> it's the flames and the studs and the shit. You're like, get me out of here. I yeah. Know, thank you. Oh, absolutely no. It's awful. Uh, I I don't like either of these movies. They're both bad to me uh, about equally. But yeah, absolutely not. I will amend. I would override Chris. What Uh-oh. just Chris just said? Ooh, over- that I think the first one is watchable. It's bad. It's not good. I don't even know if I'd recommend it. But I would say if you're curious about Ghost Rider, that's the one to check out. This one is a strong no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess the other one is a light no. But yeah. This one is a strong no. I'd say the other one, what the heck. I rewatched it this afternoon. I It was much better than I remembered yeah. it being. Yeah. I saw both of these in theaters. And I remembered at the, you know, before I watched these thinking like these are both trash. Doesn't, they're bad, but they're on different levels of bad entirely. I, I defer to Andrew on this. What he said is correct. Donald Logue is in the, He's in so, the first one. Doesn't he have a horrible death? Yes. He, oh, yeah, oh, dude. Good. He gets right. fucking murdered by Wes Bentley in that movie, Something Fierce. I like it's that. It's pretty great. Also, I don't like, like, Blackheart is supposed to be, like, a big, yeah. like, monstrous thing. And yeah. fucking Wes Bentley with ghost teeth. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just yeah, don't I got, fucking I got need you. it. I got you. Also, speaking of the rider, but you need to get Sam Elliott back in this movie some way yeah sure he'll do it he's in that first one he plays the original ghost rider mm-hmm. like the first ever iteration well, of the i don't think they're ever making another ghost rider right yeah. this I, is done the agents of shield thing is probably i mean maybe I, when they run out of stuff i just feel like there'll be another ghost rider movie why not or maybe it'll be a, Mar- uh, a netflix series probably yeah. a netflix uh, series that's the way to yeah. go that's yeah. the Actually, move yeah. i feel uh, hey, like Ghost Rider, a- you could live in Hell's Kitchen. Oh, God. <laughs> we could film it in Long Island City, Queens, in the same four factories. So I was smoking a jail with the devil. And I said, listen, I know this guy, Jack Kirby. You're going to want to know this guy. That's Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance from 2011, directed by Neville Dean slash Taylor. Uh, thanks to who was it that put this James. upon us? James, thank you very much uh, for not only supporting the Patreon, but writing in to request an episode. Uh, but thank all of you for supporting our Patreon uh, month to month. We greatly appreciate it. Until next time, I'm Andrew Jupin. Steven Sadak. Chris Cabin. Eric Siska. Take it easy. 